So in the past couple of weeks, I've been looking into getting into more obscure anime. Uh, well, past couple of months, I've been looking into getting into more anime. I've been like watching a bunch of different shows, trying a bunch of different stuff. Um, you know, Legend of the Galactic Heroes, uh, Trigun, Mobile Suit Gundam, uh, <laughs> uh, the advent of the origin of the Red Comet or whatever it's called. Like, lots of really good shit. Lots of shit that I really, really enjoyed. But there's also been a lot of stuff that I don't like. There's There's been a lot of stuff that I don't care for and that I really, really detest even. And a, probably the most notable example of that at this stage is Kill la Kill, which for a lot of people is considered a cult classic. I really don't care for it at all like i'm about like uh, nine episodes into this shit and i i am nine or ten yeah ten episodes into it uh, almost halfway through the season and i'm almost feeling the same way i did during evangelion right where i'm starting to feel like the people who hyped this shit up hyped it up just purely based on like holy shit it's so fucking anime and that's probably the only reason that i've stuck with it as long as i have right because for all of its faults, for all of its flaws, for all the things I don't like about Kill la Kill, it is extremely creative. It has really fun characters, uh, pretty good, pretty, pretty great, pretty crazy fights. Like, it, it comes off almost as something that I would like in some bizarre alternate universe where they tweak a lot of minor things. And uh, there are a lot of things they need to tweak for this. And and I think the most blatant example for this. The thing that really kills Kill That Kill for me is the fan service, is the sexualization, the ridiculous way they treat these characters. I cannot stand etchy in media, in anime. Like, I, I think it's, like, degrading. I think it's, like, perverted. I think it's, like, needless and senseless. I don't find it erotic. I don't find it enticing. I don't find it interesting. I find it ridiculous pandering. <laughs> I find it to be ridiculous pandering to incels who are never going to have sex and it's such a shame too because ryoko as a character concept from like a personality standpoint from a design standpoint from a character motivation standpoint is actually pretty interesting it's it's one of the weird things about this is that like ryoko as a character i like her a lot but uh, because of the way the plot is handled because of the way they like focus on like this ridiculous sexual aspect instead of like actually developing the world or the characters or the plot lines in any meaningful way <laughs> like be because like they don't continue presenting the world in an interesting way like you end up not really caring about Ryoko as a character like she has potential in a lot of ways like in a lot of ways I'm really thinking about, like yeah I, I really I really kind of like this fucking this kind of person but uh <laughs> I like Ryoko a lot, but I don't care about her, like, beef with Satsuki. I don't care about, like, her fight club. and <laughs> I don't care about, like, the crazy situation she gets into. I don't care about, like, her... <laughs> um, I don't care about, like, the whole father thing. I don't care... I, I certainly don't care about the whole, like, the whole um, sailor uniform pervert thing that just exists for some reason it's just it, it doesn't work like at, at its core it's just like a fan servicey anime that ha that's trying to do a lot more with its premise than the typical fan servicey anime so it, it goes above and beyond in certain ways but that's not enough to save it because at the end of the day etchy you know perversion degeneracy lowers the value of an artistic work no matter no matter what your goals are no matter what your your no matter how good your characters are no matter how like noble like no matter how well designed your plot lines are or, like how how complex the themes are like if you over rely on the sexual nature of something like that's basically all that's gonna all that 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 media is going to be known for and as a result it kind of it kind of degrades it it it's kind of pointless in, in that regard like i i'm very much against the idea that um fan service should be like a focus point in media instead of just like you know an added bonus for those of us who want to see you know uh dragon girl titties in game of thrones like it's just Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Like, it, it, it could have been so good, like, in a lot of ways. Because I like the idea of this fascist student council. I like the idea of this, like, um, this crazy society, right? They introduce all these cool ideas, but they don't really do anything with them. You know what I mean? Like this idea that the student council pre the, the student council president is like more powerful than like the actual people who run the school <laughs> because of like some shenanigans. The fact that she's been pre preparing to do this for years, like this should be really interesting, right? Like we're, we're kind of going through this in like Legend of the Galactic Heroes right now with uh with Reinhardt and his like rise to power and like and and, and things like that. And it, it's so much more interesting than this. Like I don't find Satsuki. It, to be an interesting antagonist like i don't like i don't like her design i don't like her personality i don't really i don't really like her lackeys i don't like her evil plan doesn't make any sense to me or her plans don't make any sense to me like the whole like oh she murdered my father angle like it's just i'm not invested in it like i know i don't believe satsuki did shit like like i'm sure there's gonna be some retarded plot twist Later on, uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure they're like sisters or something. Like, who knows? Like, <laughs> I, I, again, I haven't watched that far. But again, I went to this show completely blind. So this is this is just my uh, my general opinion on it so far. And, and I think I will watch it to the end just uh, just to see how crazy it gets. Because like, in, in a way, like I'm kind of having fun just watching it, even though it's like not not a great show. Like, even though I'm not like super invested in it. Like, at, at the I guess I'll give it that, that, like, they, they tried something different, you know what I mean? It, it's better than, like, making, you know, Twilight the anime or just, you know, rebooting an old sh an old piece of shit, like, <laughs> and ruining it. Like, it's uh, it, it's something different. That, that, that's something. Like, uh, companies need to do this more often. Could they have done better? Yeah, of course. But, um, I, I don't know. There, there's something to be valued in... The development team, the, the animators, the uh, the creators, like, uh, going above and beyond trying to make something new and different. They didn't succeed, but they sure tried, and that should be commended.